Chairs here. I'm gonna get some paper for you guys in case you want to write something down. Oof, I know this piece of All right, so look, that is what's recording. Okay. That's where the camera is. I'm mirroring it onto this. Okay. Okay. But we need a need... like that. Yeah, so you look at this. I can't see you. Project on what are we looking at? Yeah. Um, this is where the camera is. Just have a seat so that we can get started right away. Yeah, I just want to put some paper out. Hey, come on in. Um, yeah. I thought I invited you. You did? I have you on my list. Stay. Oh my gosh. I thought I did. Stay. No, stay. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Yes, absolutely. Hurry up though. Oh, like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I, I thought I asked you, Cameron. I didn't. I'm oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, so dude. So um, just make sure all your stuff is off the table. Uh, put it over here since we don't want to ruin the shot. Hello, Baron. All right, so. Have a seat. Alright. Oh, oh, sure. Alright, setting everybody up. Alright guys, we're putting out some scrap paper in case you want to write anything down. Um we're gonna get started right away. Okay guys, so you ready? Is Chase coming? Yeah. I don't know actually. Alright guys, see this? Oh, oh, oh. Nice, nice awesome 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 Yes. Okay. That was a nice awesome Swap. Awesome Swap. Awesome 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 awesome. awesome. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Um, do you have the Kindle still? Yeah, they're over here. You want to grab one? Well, the geometry dash. No, you're not. I will kick you out. Are you serious? What? Because this is Voxel Day, Dee Dee. I really love geometry dash, and I have it on my phone. Dee Dee, get that out of your mouth right now. Just don't you dare. No. I have it on my phone. You want to leave? I have my phone over here. Yeah. You're here for Bloxel. Can I Bloxel? All right. Yeah, guys, just have a seat. Um, over here, the camera is coming from my iPad. What? No, we're all right. Um, just trying to make it not look like a mess. <laughs> all right, guys, you ready? Good luck. I'm so proud of you guys. You don't even need it. Um, here's the deal. All right. Camera's here. It's mirrored over here. Hey, Chase. All right, so um, the man's name is Josh Stevens, so maybe oh, sure. call him Mr. Stevens. Um, take up these seats first before you take up down there. Actually, we can tweak that if we need to, because you'll be able to see what we see. All right, let's just let's do it. Let's just let's call him. Let's call him. I already did. I test called him a minute ago. So this is the actual creator. Yes. All right. Hey everybody. Oh god, it's terrifying. Hey Josh! Hey. Hey. Hello! Hey. Hey. hey, hang on. Say something again. I think our sound messed up again. Oh. Uh, Alright, let me turn it up. Hi Josh. <laughs> no. Alright, I'll, I'll have to do it on the computer. Alright, the kids have a lot of questions for you today. Um, <laughs> they have a lot to... Um, why don't you get them started by telling them a little bit about you first before we... Really? Yeah, my name is Josh Stevens. Um, I'm one of the uh, sorry. Co founders here at Pixel Press, the creators of Bloxels. And really, we started our company because when we were kids, we wanted to create games, and there really wasn't anything out there. Uh, we used to draw games out on paper, and really, it was just about imagining a hero running through your levels. Um, and that was in like, you know, 1986, 1987. Um, and as we got older and working in uh, Josh, can you hang on one second? I'm going to plug in something better for the speakers. Oh, yeah. Just right. hang on one second. There might be more oh, yeah. Out. I'm actually right now on your website. It says introducing blocks with Star Wars. Is that actually, when is that coming out? It already came out. It already came out. Oh, it did. Oh. Hang on. Say something. Oh, that's much better. Thank you. I'm on your website right now looking at the website. I didn't know you actually had a website. But I know the blocks was website. It's a really fun app. I really like that. So... Again, we started our company, um, and it was really all about bringing game creation uh, to anybody and everybody and making it more accessible. Because like I said, when we were kids, 
we wanted to create games and there really was nothing out there. Um, and I think you guys have a ton of great tools uh, in tech today to create games. But Bloxels is all about making it the most easy, most accessible way for somebody to get started with game design. Um, we often talk a lot about how uh, the video game industry is the biggest industry in America. Um, and there's all the kinds of things you can do to get in that industry. You could do uh, programming and coding. Um, you could do storytelling. You could do music. You could do art. Um, and it's just such an awesome industry, and there's so many ways that uh, you can apply yourself uh, to be a part of that industry. So Blossoms is kind of uh, what we feel like is a great way to get started uh, in there. And um, I'd love to hear any questions you guys have, and you guys can ask me about Blossoms. You can ask me about our company. You can ask me about games I played when I was a kid. Uh, anything is, is up for discussion. Uh, is it all right if I could take a selfie? Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. I want one too. You're posted on your tweet. Is that what you said? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. Wait, see, take another one. Wait, we can't see it. All right, let's not waste our whole. Let's not waste the time. Like, I have Twitter. You can follow. Okay. So, Josh, I think you're gonna get some new followers after today. I know Baran followed you already. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so who wants to go first? Oh, wait. Shane. Oh, that was him. I'll be back. That's how it works. Yep. Um, who wants to go first? All right, go ahead, Nate. Okay, so I want to ask you guys, like, what do you think about it? company like Disney, um, that was one of their requirements. You know, in that Star Wars, you also can't build your own characters, oh. um, which is such a huge part about creating your own game, right? Um, yeah. And so lots of Star Wars, in the end, it's about creating specifically Star Wars games. You get to choose some of the light side or dark side characters. Uh, but there are quite a few differences between the two apps, and a big part of it is just when you're working for a big company, you got to kind of, you know, follow some of the rules that they've set. Absolutely, um, I follow all the rules. <laughs> it's completely our, our uh, app, and we can do whatever we want with it. So, cool. yeah, kind of just a requirement that we, we had to meet. But you can make Star Wars characters with regular Bloxels. Yeah, inversely. Totally. And, you know, if you look around that Infinity Wall, there are plenty of Star Wars characters. We discovered them recently, actually. Okay. Yeah, and I, I've got some coordinates of some really rad Star Wars games that I can send you guys. Cool, you guys definitely. On the Infinity Wall. Okay, yeah. I'll All right, sure. very cool. All right, Baran. Okay, uh, so I just uh, had an idea. Uh, I wanted to, like, play with my friends because every game has a multiplayer. So I have all the games they play, like the ones that are popular, like Fortnite, yeah, oh, yeah. PUBG. I was playing Fortnite last night. So. <laughs> oh, I get the right <laughs> playing Fortnite last no, night. No, right, go ahead, bro. I'm sorry. And I had this idea of you guys could like maybe include a multiplayer so we could play with our friends. Yeah, you know, I, I honestly that is a request we get fairly often. And it's something that, um, as we are moving forward and adding new features, that's something we talk about quite often. Um, I know with our dev team uh, doing like multiplayer, there's a lot of implications that it may take a while to get that in. Um, but it's something we are uh, in tune with. And even like being able to create cross-platform and share rooms to put on a bigger map as you're creating games is something we'd like to be even more of a team experience um, and not just having to be on like that same device. So, love the idea. Definitely something we talk about internally and something uh, we'll look to in the future for an update. Uh, definitely let us know. We'll, we'll, we'll test it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have two questions. Yeah, push. right? If you guys... You yeah, know, we'd love to. Yeah, we would love to. Yeah. All right. Sign us up. <laughs> I have two questions, actually. Will you be actually releasing more, like, crossovers? With Here, Dee, move up, move up so we can see you. <laughs> <laughs> are you like? Are you like going to do like more crossovers? Like since okay, you did with Star Wars, thing after. you're doing. It. Are you also going to do with like other like? Companies? Look, Didi, you're here. See, we're in the class. Uh, so, so like, <laughs> like with Star Wars. Are like, we like, will you cross over with other like franchises? Um, we we've, we've considered it, and honestly, as a company, we kind of would rather just keep pushing on Bloxels and getting more features in. Um, the Star Wars was fun, and it was great, and it's such a cool thing to be able to talk about. 
but in the end, like it took a little bit of our focus away from regular blocks, some of the features we wanted to get in, because um, it was a lot of work. Uh, so I think right now our plan is just keep pushing and making the blocks even better. But it's something I definitely wouldn't rule out. I mean, I would love to do like a Marvel block edition. Oh, that'd be cool. Right? Cool. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my last, yeah. my other question. You, will you actually put it like on different devices since it's right now mobile and on PC? Do you think you'll like put it on console? Like, like? We've, uh, that's, that, we've discussed that before. Um, I think right now, in, cause, because we are kind of in this education space quite a bit, uh, we are kind of sticking to the mobile. Um, it's available on Chromebooks now also. Um, we, I mean, we've, we've actually had talks with people like PlayStation, with people like Microsoft and Xbox. Why not, um, like, Nintendo? I think the best fit is the tablet. Like, why not, you can probably, like, talk to Nintendo since, like, they're family-friendly. Like, yeah, I was thinking, like, a Mario. Level. Yeah, like, Nintendo, you can, like, see if you and Nintendo, like, like the Nintendo do, like, a Mario Blocks thing. Like, that would it, be cool. Have it on the Switch yeah. or 3DS. Yeah. I mean, right. you're, 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 you're still in the, like, the family-friendly thing, and you're with a oh, yeah. company, so yeah, that, I think that would work. Yeah, I mean, and again, it's something that we are not ruling out, um, but, we, you know, we are, we are a smaller team, um, and sometimes we got, we got a priority list, and we got to kind of, you know, stick with doing some of the things we're trying to get in for Blockfuls, and taking on something like trying to get on a console um, would maybe something uh, down the road, uh, but probably not this year, I would Okay. So, like, how big is your team? Like, like how many? Uh, right now, we're a team of about fifteen people. Wow, wow. fifteen, so and you make such a great game that basically, like, a team of like fifty or a hundred would take. But you guys made it oh, yeah. like so good, and like, yeah. and the pixel art, like, pixelated, and I really like doing pixel art. And I have a journal of all the pixel art that I did. Wish oh, that's brought awesome. it. Wish what I brought it, but. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty proud of our team. Like, we do feel like we work our butts off to, uh, you know, as a small team, be able to bring this stuff to you guys and, and make the as cool of an app as we can. And we, and we listen to feedback and make changes. And, you know, I'm sure we are going to grow. We, you know, next year we may be 25 people, you know. Well, um, the more people, the better grow, it is. We'll be able to get more features in and then maybe get to a console eventually. Cool. I have a question, wait, from a student who couldn't make it today, but he was, you know, very, he's obsessed with Bloxels. He's actually the student, he made a, a black and white, like, Steamboat Willie Bloxels. So, like, it looks like, oh, like, wow. like classic, like, you know, Disney Steamboat Willie. He's really great oh. at it, but he had a couple questions. One of his questions was, um, will you ever make the board bigger? Yeah, that's like yeah, a that's what I wanted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, my, my, like, I can't really yeah. make it bigger. Yeah. I can't really so, make it more. I, I love that. I love that question. Um, we do love our board, kind of as this thirteen by thirteen. It's kind of got its own identity. Um, uh, but like even things like making the background in the end, that is a whole Multiple bunch of boards. boards. Yeah, yeah. 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 The map like is a whole bunch yeah. of boards mixed together. Like, right. And yeah. even when you go on that infinity wall, you can find giant of art where people plug multiple boards together for things like Pokemon characters and different things like that. Um, so right now I think we're sticking with the 13 by 13 but you know we are discussing a lot of ways where you can make bigger characters, bigger artwork. Um, we're improving the background builder because I think it's kind of a pain to create a nice background. Um, so that those are things we're all we're looking at and we're, we're improving. Yeah go ahead. Okay, so I made a character that was a ghost as a character, not as an animation, but I wanted her to float, but I couldn't make her float. Are you guys going to, like, can you guys put, like, a feature that allows her to float instead of just having to drop to the floor? Well, yeah, that's you just have the have to float the bottom um, of blank, right? Right? And you yeah. know the way it's set up as a character, you're affected by gravity. The programming so is. character that's at the top of the board, once you drop him in the game, he is going to drop them to the ground. So, honestly, I love that idea. Um, you know, one thing we want to do is, like, give you guys the power to create the things you want. So I think a floating character would be awesome. You know, so maybe that's something we will try to get in there, uh, like in a future update, where you can affect maybe the physics of your character. Maybe they don't have to walk and jump. Maybe they glide across uh, like the floor. Like or, again, rolling. keep them up in the air so it's like they're a floating ghost. And also... Also, like, what? I have a follow-up question, like, for his, like, you know how he said, like, for floating and, like, don't you, you know how, like, 
like you're pixelated. It's kind of reminding like if you wanted to make like kind of a Sonic level, like make it go around, like do a loop with that. Like, how would would you like make an update to make it where you're able to like do a loop over it? Like, yeah, I think that's interesting too. You know, I think that's like, kind, kind of, of a, a Sonic level feature design kind of. question. You know, like could you possibly make a level yeah. where your character gets enough speed yeah. where he could then go through that loop and not fall down? Yeah, kind of like. You can use the jetpack, but it's technically you're not doing the complete loop because you're gonna have to stop. Right, and so you're just kind of flying around in a circle, right? Yeah, not the same. But thing. I get that. One thing with that ghost, I would maybe try uh, changing your if, if the walk animation is just at the top. Maybe when you walk, I think he may stay hovering. Um, I'm trying to remember back. I know I've messed around with that before. Uh, I'm not sure though, so maybe that's something to test out uh, when we get off this call. I, I even want to test it out. I think maybe if you make just the walk animation up in the air, that he'll maybe stay in the air like he's floating. Um, so maybe try that out. Oh, I have a question. Go ahead, Cameron. So I was making a uh, jail cell with a character inside walking back and forth. Um, I was going to make it so that like you could walk in front of it, like when you're uh, decorating, it's like the window icon. Um, but then I realized that you can't put animations, um, in the background. Yep. So, That's, so I think a big thing, like, the backgrounds and even the mid-background is what we call Mr. Boy, please make sure uh, your students are... What did, what did you call it? Flutes? Three, the mid-background? Three, mid background. It's called mid-background, oh, and then the far background is... Two, and, and then the mid-background is where you can put facts and pieces and different things up. Which I think that's what you're talking about, where you have the jail cell. Yeah. Um, but yeah, right now you can't do animations. A big part of that is just memory. And if you could do animations in all those background spots, it would really bog down the app. Um, and it would make things probably a lot slower. Um, so, you know, when you're creating games and stuff for mobile devices and for tablets, that's some of the stuff you got to think about. Um, and, 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 you know, you got to worry. You don't want a game that slows down or lags. Or you guys know how that goes when you're playing any game. When it starts lagging, that is like the worst experience. You're just like, oh, uh, I can relate to several moments. And so that's something we take into account. I know that like animation in those backgrounds takes a lot of memory up, and that's one reason why we just stay to the static art and not animation. And it's too so distracting that's, that's, anyway when there's like a background that's animated. You know, right? I mean, that's a great question. I mean, and obviously that would be cooler if you could do that. And I mean, again. A lot of these things, we talk about them internally, um, and, and, you know, even to get to that point where you can do that, it's just a lot of work, and so it's something we want to get in, but it's definitely a little bit lower on the priority list than some of these other features. Good question. Thank you. Ryan. Um, I don't know. Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie. Really, oh, I didn't even see you back there, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Uh, you scooted around. Yeah, all right, good. Charlie. Um, maybe like an undo and redo button for yes for like twenty yes. minutes. Right, I oh, had yeah. many times. <laughs> yeah, we want so an undo that button. That is one that is higher on our priority list, yeah. and that one is coming. Good. Yay. Yay. Yeah, we've heard, heard a lot of oh. frustration about. We did it, kids. I just want to be able to hit oh, yeah. And so that is something we are working on. So great, great idea. Yeah. Um, and, oh you know, yeah. I love hearing this from you guys, it even like validates kind of some of our thoughts. And, when she said yeah. undo and redo, all of you guys like lit up like, yes, please. Yeah. Get that in the app. Yeah. And so definitely something that's coming. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, oh, yeah. You don't have to raise your oh. hand. Eh? Oh, yeah. I actually, I actually <laughs> tweeted about, okay. since we took a, a selfie and tweeted it. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll be getting on and retweeting that when we're, we're done here. For sure. uh, it's, awesome. This is like, I don't know if you can see it. But <laughs> it's so small. Look, the camera's up there. She was plugged. Yeah, dude, that looks awesome. I like you can. I don't think you can. You can see it, like the the photo of me taking my foot. But yeah, I retweeted it. And Gianna's gonna see it. <laughs> Wait, you cool. retweeted yeah. yourself? No, I tweeted it. Gianna's probably gonna see it because me and Gianna follow each other on tweet. Okay, so my question is, can will you guys make like movable blocks that you can like lift up and throw at enemies and it'll explode? Oh, like kind of like yeah. the turnips it, in Mario nice. too. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. exactly. So. Voxels is creating what they call platformer video games, right? This is the Mario style run and jump. Yeah. Like and Mega so Man? We looked at, we looked at other games like Mario and different things for ideas, like in moving blocks to 
such a big one that is in those games. And that is something we are actively working on for block holes, uh, is to be able to create moving blocks, be able to create push and pull blocks. Um, so we, you know, when you hit that configure tab, you can configure enemies, you can do your power up, and you can do the story blocks. Um, and we're actually working on some things to where you can then maybe configure music, uh, orange blocks, like, or the green blocks, and yeah. change if they move or work in the game. So another great question, and then it's another one that we are we're currently working on for a making your own music. Oh yeah, is that it? Oh yeah, just I was awesome. doodling right now, and I just had another idea. Like you know how you like some games have like, okay. like invisible blocks that yeah, and when you put a character on it, like Mario yeah. Maker, like in Super Mario. Yeah. You know, have you played Super Mario Maker? I have a little bit. Yes. Yeah. You know how like you can make your enemies like specifically move these certain parts, and then they go back. Like when I add that, but. They don't see the blocks where they move, so it's kind of, they don't know where they're going to move. So it's yeah, like we, they, one thing I know we're working on, too, for enemies is being able to determine um, their how, path. Right? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to do, but like, what? their pathway. Uh, like, you know like how where, when, where they walk, because right now, even like the walking enemies, they're fairly, they're not real smart. They walk right up a ledge. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like oh, the Koopas so in Mario. You want to do where you can Agreed. determine the pathway of any of your enemies. And like, it's kind of... control... Where they fly, uh, so yeah, all, all that stuff is uh, is being worked on right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, do you know how you said like you're trying to represent like Mario? Like, would you think you could add, like jump on the enemies to make like like you could so yeah, like, come like we, we heard that a lot. Um, you know, uh, being able to just jump on top of them. Yeah, kind of like. Those are some other things. We really want to, again, we want to give you guys as much power as we can to make it your Yeah, because I had so many ideas about ro about in boxes where I'm, uh, you, like, you know how you said, like, the enemies are going to fall off the edge, like, make them specifically stay there, kind of make, like, parkour, where they oh, yeah. float, like, they float in the air with nothing under them, so if you jump on them, they fall. So, like, you're trying to, like, time oh, your right. jumps, like, Yay. correctly to try to get to the specific part. Oh, yeah, you can do that with, like, moving blocks, too. I love, like, doing animated blocks that come in and go away. Like, yeah, kind of like, Mega, just, like in the yeah. uh, Gus Man yeah. stage in Mega Man. Mm -hmm. Right. I've been, yes. Uh, I've Mega also... Man. Oh, yeah, your game has also been giving my parents so many 90s, like, giving them so many flashbacks <laughs> back then. Aww. Mega Man. Street 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 Mega Man, Mario, Metroid was one of my favorite games as a kid. Um, so yeah. Alright, very cool. What, what else uh, you got, Charlie? Uh, maybe like a larger color palette for with the pixel, like the pixel art. I like, I know, but like, I'm trying to do like a wooden house, and it's a little bit irritating mm -hmm. because there's not that much browns for. Oh yeah, and and you know we we are working on that too. Uh, Oh. We want to provide a decent amount of colors for the art part of it. I mean, you're obviously not limited to those eight base colors that are actually on the box. Uh, but yeah, they're going to definitely be used to more browns. It's hard to get a real uh, detailed wood. Yeah. I totally hear that a lot, and I'm with you. Like, you can use orange a little bit, uh, but that's still, you feel like you're kind of... Yeah. Like a dark. Is it a front? Oh, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll yeah. your chair up here. What about you can also, like, you know how, like, some games, like Lego Dimensions, they have, like, you can buy like, separate sets? Like, different parts, like Legos, yeah. they go back a little come and they give you buy more Legos with it. Like, why don't you, like, sell blocks just by itself so I can get more of the color blocks? That'd be cool, too. Like I said, a lot of this stuff working on and some of it is like we've talked about a million things but again we got a, a team of 15 there's only so many things you can get to a part of like making a game and making it better is thinking about what can we get in in the next month what can we do in this amount of time you really got to think you know what's important to the game what would users most likely want to see um and you know those are things we're working on um you know when you mentioned that one earlier, everybody was immediately like, yes, please undo redo. And like, we know, like, that's one we got to get in. So, and like, go something you know, Kind of in a way, we have meetings about picking and choosing what features we're going to put in. You know, what's important enough to us uh, for us to work on. So you're constantly make. you know, in the end, you wish you could get everything in a game, but it does yeah, take but time. If you're just beginning, it takes time, time. Like, oh, 
Okay, oh, yeah. we're just starting off. We're not like yeah. Disney where they can just get it. release yeah. everything in like one month and then. Yeah, they, they have a team of like thousands of people. Yeah, Let's give somebody else a turn, okay? Yeah. We're all so, excited, all right? Switch with camera, Didi. Well, right well, well, my hands. Well, all right, Didi, switch with camera, okay? Watch me. What's your yeah. favorite video? Seats? Yeah, seats. Yeah. I, I, you know, that's a great question. Um, my favorite video game of all time is probably, I loved Metroid growing up. Oh, I also oh, love. Zelda Ocarina of Time. Oh, yeah. Ocarina, yeah. Ocarina speedrun it. That is an amazing game. Um, the new Zelda is an yeah. amazing Breath game. Breath of the Wild. Oh, oh yeah. Um, you know, I, I generally gravitate towards adventure games where you know, there's puzzles, there's mystery, there's trying to unlock areas. I love that about video games. To me, those adventure games bring so much more to the table. And I mean, I love games like Fortnite. Those are fun, yeah. and those are great for playing with your friends. I play with my brother all the time. We live, you know, four hours apart, but we can jump on and play Fortnite for an hour. And you know, I, I love that about that. Uh, but yeah. adventure games probably have my heart more than anything. Yeah, adventure. Which uh, console or like uh, PC do you use to play Fortnite? I I play on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, bro? Uh, what was your favorite? Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Cam. Go ahead. Oh, well, what led what led you to choosing the uh, the Bat 19 people for the uh, instructional videos? Ah, yeah. So those guys are actually uh, they're out of like St. Louis, which same as we are. Um, so we had them do a few little projects for us. They made a video really early when we were a company, and it got like a million views. And they are fun. Um, they are pretty funny. And so when we got the opportunity to kind of do a weekly series with them, it seemed like a no-brainer to us, uh, especially with them being right here in our backyard. Uh, it was nice to be able to, like, go to their studio and, you know, help out or to talk about things. Um, because a lot of times you're doing things like this all, and sometimes things get lost in translation. But having those guys right here in St. Louis, um, that's how we kind of got hooked up with them, and, and they've been great. And, you know, they're funny. Their videos are awesome. Um, I have a question. Not really question, but I think that you can do it to get like more teachers into it. What? Yeah, you? Like your education. I was thinking that at checkpoint, like you interact with it, and if you pick the correct answer, you can go on. But if you don't, you have. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. So Look at that, that, that is an awesome yeah. suggestion. That is definitely exactly. something we are also getting in the game, hopefully soon. Um, we've seen some people make games where it'll ask a question. And I'll have the, some answers above uh, holes, and like the wrong answers lead to lava, or the correct answer leads to going on to the next question. So it's almost like we've seen people create ways to do that in a different way. But yeah, we're totally going to get that to where white blocks uh, can be questions you got to get correct before you move on in the game. So <laughs> great suggestion and something we're definitely getting. Mrs. Terranova. Well, what was your favorite subject in school? You know, I loved math in school. Um, you know, I don't know why. I, I loved math. I, I took, like, free calculus and stuff in, in like, uh, I think, seventh or eighth grade and, like, was really into math. Um, I think now I, like, don't like math as much as I did then. Um, and I don't, I'm not sure why. I really like science um, and history. Huh. Um, I, I think, knew that. Yeah, she's a scientist. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, you know, I think science is such a, a a fun thing, and there's so many things that they don't seem like they're even true, or it's something that just seems out of this world. But science has the answer, mm. um, and I love that. You know, science like is true, and mm. like there is an answer for everything, and even whether we know it is not. You know, thinking about uh, Stephen Hawking. Just passed away. Like, oh, rest in he peace, Steve. Such a great mind. He had so many answers that most of us don't. Um, but like somebody like that, uh, you know, has learned so much through science and through truth. And uh, you know, I just love that about science that there is an answer out there, whether we're smart enough to, to know it or not. Right. And so, but you see, the math like with your game is so helpful. Like it's everyday stuff, right? That you need. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I always talk about, like, even using the board, it's about spatial reasoning. Right, right. And, like, X, like the infinity wall is just a giant XY coordinate system. Um, you know, and it's like every day you're using all kinds of things you've learned in math, and whether you're at that moment realizing it, all that stuff, your mind's working quicker than you think. And, yeah, all that stuff comes into play. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.
things. Um, uh-huh. Like in the like decoration board, I guess you'd call it. I uh, maybe you could like flip things ninety degrees instead of like having to repaint the whole thing instead. Like uh, like a rotate. Yeah, like well, like just ninety degrees. Of course, like not like at a certain angle, but like. Yeah, I know on the boards you can flip, like so if it's facing left, you can flip it and make it place right. Yeah. Or you can flip it up and down. So you could maybe do those rotations that way, but I think it would be cool if you could just turn it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That'd probably make it a lot easier to create some animations, too. That's a good idea. Yeah, like, it's hard to explain, but, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I get you. I, animations, to me, are one of the funnest part about blocks, making cool animations. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's amazing sometimes when I go on the infinity wall and I find things, and I'm like, wow, here's a... 20 frame animation and it's just a laser shooting fire or something and it just looks amazing and it's like really cool to see that stuff come to life and then be added into a game that you're playing. Yeah. Like I said, art is a huge part of video games. You know, art, storytelling, music, all those components come together to create an awesome game. It's not just one. Yeah. Um, I was wondering if something you could do is like combine two things. You know like when you click on a enemy and Camera. it says Control flying or turn. I was wondering if you could like put flying and turn so your Ooh. turns aren't just sitting around because it makes it so, easier to hit. Right, and so one thing you can do is you can add a brain to uh, your enemy. So you can have a flying enemy that's shooting the fireballs, mm-hmm. but you just have to add a brain to your enemy in that case. Is there a way you can make a brain without the board? There is not. That is one feature that is board only. It's you not the way. Lock out. That is one where you have to use the board for a brain. Hmm. Good question. Chase, you got to ask me a question. Oh, how do we get featured? Because um, there was this block, this kind of like Mario block that um, I saw, and it was like one of those blocks where you have at the end, right? Well, um, the thing in the middle was actually too narrow, but then I actually made the version where I made it bigger and more accurate. And um, so, I don't know. So, how to we have, we have uh, somebody that kind of searches and finds good games. Um, as good games as we are, like, approving story blocks, we'll find good games with good stories to feature. Uh, so, we're, we're always looking for good games. And honestly, you guys can shoot me an email with some games you made, and we can try to get them on the featured list. Um, so we have occasionally we have somebody tweet at us, please play my game, please feature it. And you know it's all about testing that game out. A few requirements, we want everything to be decorated with art, we want it to be a good story, we want there to be an end flag where the game ends. Um, but all those things factor into which games we pick to be featured. Um, and it's done by a couple couple guys here at the office uh, who are just search for, for good games that are fun. Can they tweet you their games too? What? Can they tweet you their games too? Yeah, totally. Okay. Right, yeah, you can tweet at us. We'd love that, you know. Awesome. Uh, we want our community to be as active as they want to be, you know. Share with us. Show us your games. Take a screenshot. Any of that stuff, we, we would love to see. Cool. Is there a hashtag that they should use? Is it the same one as mine, or is there one for kids? Um, Dylan Caldera. You know, maybe we consider our users 13-bit builders. Okay. So I think that would be a cool hashtag. Okay. Um, or you could hashtag it Infinity Wall. I think that's another that good cool. one. Um, but yeah, if you're tagging us, and we want to see it. We want to see your guys' work. Um, we want to play your guys' games. And I'd love to get some of them featured, too. Awesome. What else we got, guys? Uh, um, well, uh, I don't know if this is a question or an idea. But uh, when I'm trying to make myself a, a, a character that could be in a game, I always have to redo it again for the jump, walk, and run section. Uh, is there like a like button that you could like copy and paste? So you could there, there is copy and paste in the app. If you look below the color palette where all the colors are listed, there's a little two pieces of paper and then there's a glue. Mm-hmm. And those are copy and paste. Okay. So you can copy any board and paste it anywhere else. So those are super helpful. Um, if the apps are updated, um, then it should, when you capture with the board, uh, then it should throw them in all those uh, walk, jump, and animation. 
Um, but if you're building in the app, it's just going to put them in one. But you do have copy and paste is in there that you guys can use. Um, uh, audio. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, what if, like, when you get to a checkpoint, it can make a noise, or when you defeat an enemy, uh, a sound would play? Like, yeah, you know, one thing, I, you know, I talk about how you can do music for video games, and I feel like one thing blocks, so right now you got, like, six choices for your theme music. Yeah. But that's it. Uh, one thing internally, we even we have a prototype where you can even make different music on the board, where each color is a different instrument, where you put it on the board is different pitch, and then you can create music loops. Um, so we have an early prototype of that, and honestly, if you want to get in, you can do all the sound effects for your game. You know, when you collect a coin, maybe it's a different sound. Uh, when you defeat an enemy, when you get to a white block. Uh, so that's definitely something that we're looking at to give you guys more opportunities to, again, make this game your own. Create your own sound. Because um, like I said, video games, it's about storytelling, it's about art, it's about uh, the game level layout, but it's also about music. And so that's something we, we want to improve going forward, too. So, good question. So this game isn't a game, it's a game that you create. Huh? You're, you're basically the person that will make a game from a game. Right? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's all about creating your own story and telling your story through a video game. I like Legos. Yeah. Um, I had an idea, because you know in passing, after you eat an enemy, he, like, spit out the eyeballs? I was wondering if you like do something like that to like once you eat like destroy enemy like something a feature would happen like if we could add to animations if destroyed and then make like an animation. Yeah, I mean I think that'd be cool. Just another thing you could do to like really own this and make this your own game is if there was like an animation for when your enemy gets exploded. I mean we do love that they just fall apart all their blocks. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, more power to you guys to be able to create your own, you know, your own image. Well, right, Josh, I have a post. question. Yes. What advice would you give to kids that are interested in a career doing something similar to what you do, designing games? You know, I think, honestly, the biggest advice is just jump in and try stuff out. I mean, Bloxels was built in Unity, which is a free program online that you can go and download and start building games with. It is free. And it's all about research and reading and, and you know, putting in the time to test things out. Um, honestly, the biggest thing I would say is don't be afraid to jump in and just try stuff. Don't be afraid to fail. I know we all hear that all the time, but it is such a true statement. Um, get in there. If you fail and you just learn from that and spawn, um, but Search out some of those programs, dive in, um, and like I said, you can do art, you can do music, you can do storytelling, you can do the programming and the coding. Um, so find something that you really like to do and just jump in and go for it. Awesome. Um, are you guys thinking about doing like part of cool effects for like when you're at a certain point? Like you can add like little effects, like how, like how the white blocks do, they have that little particle effect going on? Yeah, I mean, and you're, you're touching on just another uh, great thing about creating a video game, like particle effects, things like that. I mean, every great game pays attention to those tiny details. And, like, that makes the game that much more fun when it just feels like it just flows and there's great particle effects and there's great artwork and the attention to detail. I mean, even us, like, we could spend three years with 100 people to make this as good as we can. Um, and, but we don't have that kind of time. We don't have that kind of staff. And it is, you know, sometimes you start uh, somewhere and you try to get to that point and you get as close as you can um, to that point. Uh, you know, again, if we had 100 people on staff, it would be great because we could knock out all this stuff within a month. Um, you know, again, it's all about starting somewhere and, you know, Blocks is all about getting into that game design process as soon as Yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, using that you can add like a final boss to like some levels. Like if you have that as an adventure, like add a final boss to it. Well, well you, you can, can add, add a boss with a brain, and then have like the checkpoint. If yeah. No, like have it as a, it. like a health bar kind of like you don't need you as a brain where. Oh, so you just want him to have a health bar. Health mm -hmm. bar. It shows you like it's able to add a cutscene to it. I'm sorry. What was that again? 
uh, able to add like a health bar to like the final boss and also kind of like make it into a uh, cutscene. Yeah, no, that's a great feature. Uh, you know, that's in a lot of games, right? And I think, yeah, that would be great. Like, you know, like, well, we have the health bar on enemies. Is there not one on the boss when you create one with the brain? I think there might be one on there, actually. Like, you think you could also, like, add, like, cutscenes to it? Like, it stops and then... Yeah, oh yeah, we, we talk about that, about that a lot, being able to do cutscenes. Uh, that's just another giant part to a story, right? Uh, you get to a spot, you know, or like right, you know, in a lot of games, right before you face that giant boss, there's a cutscene, um, and like I totally agree uh, that that would be awesome to have in there. Um, I was thinking, like, if you don't, like, sometimes, you know how, like, sometimes in video games, your um, boss would like talk to you. I was wondering if you could like pick. Like design some enemies that they actually talk to, you, like give up like some information about the game when they die. So like if I destroy a character, it says go left if there's two ways. Uh huh. I, I love that. Uh, I think you know in, in a lot of ways you could do things like that. You could have a white story block behind that enemy when you defeat them, things like that. Uh, but again, those are just like great fine details of. Uh, how you could uh, get to that point, how you could uh, defeat a boss, and then him maybe he drops a key that you can open a door with. I mean, things like that. Uh, all those things are things we are actively, you know, talking about and uh, trying to get in the game, so. Uh, one thing I always found annoying was that, like, I'd accidentally hit an area to make a new section of the level, but there's no way to get rid of it. Are you guys working on that, or...? So you mean on that giant map? Yeah, yeah the, the big map. Oh, there is? You can drag to the trash can. Yeah. The only thing is you can't drag the board of the trash can that your character is in. Yeah. So just yeah, make sure your character is in that board, and then, yeah, you can drag it to the trash can. So you can oh, okay. Use it. Yep. Uh, I have a question. Can you switch your uh, characters in mid-game? You cannot. I do hear that a decent amount, you know, and maybe... Maybe that's something we could get in, um, being able to have more than one hero. Uh, so I think that would be cool. Um, and maybe even where you can rotate throughout the game, like switching different heroes up. Um, that's in, I've played a few games like that, so that would be a cool feature for sure. Um, in some games I play with multiple characters that you can select from, each one of them has like a special ability. Like one can jump higher, one can go low, or one can go faster. Can you do that? Like if you make a other character? Yeah, yeah, I think that's a big part of it, is like having different attributes. Um, if you play the blocks of Star Wars, like every one of those characters have different attributes. Some of them jump higher, some of them are faster, some of them have different weapons. Uh, so we did do that a little bit in the Star Wars app, but I mean, I would, I would love to have that in our blocks now also. Um, can you make uh, your character shoot some other stuff rather than water things? It yeah, I mean, we, that's another one, too, is we want to be you able to design your own projectile. Yeah. Uh, maybe you're shooting chickens at someone. I think yeah. that'd be yeah. great. Yeah, because I'm the you guy. Yeah. Why not, right? Yeah, I made a fire character, but he shoots water. He shoots water, right? So that yeah. doesn't make and my, a lot of And my enemies are water characters, and they shoot red. So. Ah. <laughs> yeah, Tommy, you've almost like flipped the script there a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's something we would love to get in where you can change a projectile. I know we're working to where you can do just no projectiles also in the game. So that may be where you can jump on their heads instead of uh, shooting the water at them, things like that. Uh, I have a question. Do you, would you give us our permission to, um, give, give us your permission rather, to use uh, any recordings from this on YouTube, podcasting or videos? Oh, yeah. Totally okay, thank cool you. With that. I tried yeah. to do a nice. screencast, but it didn't work. I was trying to do it on the computer so then I could cast it. But then as uh -huh. soon as you picked up, it like clicked off. It didn't work. So uh -huh. we'll do it. Yeah, no, I have no problem. You guys can okay, use cool. any of this stuff. Cool. Uh, yeah, you guys can put it out there. Like I said, I, lo I love hearing from our users. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, and talking about Bloxels and talking about the stories you guys are creating, it's, it's just so much fun for me. So, yeah, share away. Where are your games on the internet? So, I mean, my account is the Pixel King account. Okay. So I do have a few games out there. I is really wish impossible? I had more time to create some awesome games. I did. It feels like a year or two ago I created more games. It's been a while since I've created a good game to put on the wall. 
Um, but I also, I can get you a list of a whole bunch of great games um, so that you guys can see some of the great stuff being created because I think great. the Infinity Wall, sometimes it's even hard to find great content. Um, so, yeah, I can shoot you an email with a list of a whole bunch of good games, awesome. including some Star Wars ones I talked about earlier. Um, in your new, like, update, you had it, like, so you can buy new characters. How do you, like, you make them, like, the price range? Ah, uh, so the price is solely based on how many blocks are used. Uh -huh. That's why some of the really big animations are the ones that cost a lot. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So there's no real good rhyme or reason to cost. Honestly, um, so it is just about basically how many blocks are used for that character, that animation, or just a, a regular artwork. Yep. No, 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 no. Oh. What else you got, Charlie? Uh, maybe like passwords for specific games, like if it's a shared account. Uh, yeah, we ran into a little issue with that in our class. You can tell them what happened. Uh, so I was getting into one of my the games I'm working on, and uh, somebody got into it, and they created a new, like, a different part of the level, and there's this new character instead. Uh, yeah, like like, if we could also have, like, a timeline of, like, edits where we could, like, go back, that, like, that would have fixed Charlie's problem today. But, you know, even though we're using the um, Bloxwell's classroom accounts, not every kid always remembers to sign out when they leave. We, we've heard that, you know, a lot of just like, I, it's really hard to get somebody to log out. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's the, the foolproof way to save your stuff and make sure nobody messes with it, is to log out so you yeah. know that they can't log into your account. Um, we're working on some uh, different ways to log in and making that easier, and uh, like almost having passcodes where it may, there may just be simple pictures, and you got to pick three pictures in a row so you can log in really quickly. Um, but yeah, no, I feel your pain sharing iPads and somebody messing with your creations. Yep. Like, come on. Yep. <laughs> All that hard work gone the way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so originally I had one Kindle that I bought for the kids for Block Souls. And, you know, because not every kid has a phone. That's an issue that we had to deal with, you know, in the beginning. And I asked, you know, the school if they would buy us iPads. And the answer was no. They kindly know. declined. And they kindly no. declined, long story short. So I started buying Kindle. Kindles. So I have three Kindles in the class that the kids, like, share. So now that I have the classroom accounts, it's actually become a lot easier for them to share and remember to sign out and things. So thank you. That was very helpful. Because having, right. you know, one or two accounts was tough. You know, what Charlie's explaining would happen, you know, on a daily basis. So right. Yeah, I mean, that was the probably the number one, some of the number one feedback we got from educators is they get... Having to do the parental email if you want to create 30 of those. That yeah. Is yeah, I ran out of email accounts. <laughs> right, and so that's why we created that hub, and we are still adding new features, and, and we, we're doing some things. We want to do, like, private infinity walls this year. Cool. Uh, where you can just house your classroom on one infinity wall, um, and cool. progress tracking, things like that. So that's the type of stuff we're working on for the hub. Uh, have you yourself uh, made like a game besides Bloxels? Uh, me personally, no. I so like I'm I'm not a programmer. Um, I try to pay attention to what some of these guys, some of our developers do here. Uh, these other guys have made quite a few games. Um, Trying to think, uh, Matt, one of our programmers, has a game called Ninji Bade, which I think is really cool. It's an endless runner. Um, which I actually kind of appreciate those because they're uh, just quick games you can play, like when you're waiting on a doctor's appointment or when you're sitting, you know, waiting for something. I love just having a quick game I can play, like Crossy Road. That's an endless yeah, runner yeah. where you just play till you die, and when you die, you start all the way at the beginning and you try to beat your high school. So, <coughs> yeah, these guys have made some other games, um, and then you know we did Adventure Time game, Draw Your Own Adventure Time game um, with Cartoon Network. Uh, and then Floors was our very first app. Adventure Time is a good show. Katie, do you have another question? Uh, no, not at the moment. I thought you were raising your hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so well, we did, my, well, my class, or we set up this thing where we found this old Nintendo remote oh, control. The USB, yeah. And we hooked it to a computer. And I was wondering if you could not only, like, like make your own version of that, but make one so that you can plug into your 
phone because phones don't usually have USB ports. So like where like your charger would go, you would plug I mean, this is a question for Apple. Microsoft and Android and these people making these phones, I agree, right? I mean, they are small computers. Why can't we plug our USBs in there? Um, I'm with you. Uh, you know, that's uh, creating new hardware. Um, I think that'd be kind of a big shift in what some of these companies are doing. Um, but I would love to see that. I mean, it was I saw your guys' tweets about using that old school Nintendo controller, and I love that. Uh, so that was very cool. And definitely uh, love that idea. And yeah, I want to go to plug my USB in my phone. I have an idea. Um, I was wondering, what if you could add pets? Like, little uh, sidekicks that follow you around and help like tails? Yeah. yeah. That's, we get that a lot. Um, and that's something we've talked about internally a lot about allowing you to create a little pet that follows you around. Maybe he helps you, maybe he doesn't. Um, but just even having that sidekick would be cool. So definitely something we've discussed quite a bit here in the office. Anything else, guys? Uh, maybe like time limits, like how Mario has a time limit. But instead, with Blossoms currently, you just have a timer that tells you how long you've been. So now we, We've talked about being able to change the objectives. Like maybe it's defeat all the enemies. Maybe it is collect all the coins. Maybe it's defeat this game in a minute and a half. Uh, so definitely thinking about where if you could set the objective for the user, that just adds a, a, a different type of game that you can create. So that's pretty good, pretty good thought. Okay. Uh, can I take a selfie? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let me take a selfie. Here, you got it? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is technology <laughs> to the max. Careful, here. A <laughs> selfie of a Skype call. <laughs> that was nice. Awesome. Here, guys, look at me. And Josh, wait, so I can get a picture of like everybody. Did he get in there? Yeah. Come on in around. Oh, you want to get here? Yeah, I call here. Oh, I'm going to do too. I don't have to Photoshop if I jump in it. Why? Watch the camera. No, don't jump behind the wire. Here, move over. Move over. He's on the over us. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, take a seat. There's a huge voice coming. I'm stuck. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh, I love the snap bracelet. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Hashtag right. not sponsored. Shit, let's plug. Okay. Hashtag we'll do one more little quick selfie. Not sponsored. Phew. Undertale's right. definitely not sponsored. <laughs> Josh. Yo. <laughs> okay. You, you All right. me. <laughs> Alright kids, you got anything else? Um, uh, 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 I, got, that's two plus I, two. I got maybe one more question. Alright, one more, Cameron. Okay. Alright. Um, uh, 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 next time you have a meeting with your team or next time you see them all, uh, just, just tell them a uh, good job. <laughs> Heck yeah. You know, these guys work their butts off. We all do. And like some of these guys that are in the office and not I get out and about, I get to talk to you guys, I get to go to conferences and events, but some of these guys are stuck in the office all day, and I will make sure uh, to tell them that you guys appreciate all they're doing and all we're doing, and yeah. it's been a great job. Do you think you'll add taunts? Like, you know, like, <laughs> we said one more question. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice. Yeah, but anyway, thank you so much for talking to us today. Yeah, this is thank awesome. Thank you guys so much. And you know, I'll, uh, I'll try to send you some of those coordinates of some okay. great games to play. Uh, All right. Get you guys some ideas and just see okay. how great we're creating. All right, cool. I'm gonna try to take a screenshot before we go to. Ah! <laughs> uh, I didn't even see you here. Ready? I went over the camera button. It's like it's all my face. Oh no! no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Cool. Yeah, we got it. Like All right. All right. It worked. Thank you, so much. Thank you so much. It worked. And like you were the umbrella. We'll see you on Twitter. <laughs> bye. All right. Bye. bye. Oh, don't. Yes. 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 Woo! Woo! My life goal is complete. Awesome. Yeah. High fives all around. Yeah. High fives all around. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, it's I want to be in your class. Hey. Hey. Ow. Hey. It, it really stinks if you YouTube still. Chill. Chill. I was like still on. Oh, I'm still recording. Hang on. Give me 10-5.